What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Honey sauce is in the living room, minding all the business that pays. All right, okay. I got to hurry up and get this out the way because I don't want to be sitting in this chair, but I love y'all. And I asked God, I said, God, can we get some more things going? And he said, yeah, you want to work. So that's what I'm doing. You get what I'm saying? Now, yesterday I addressed the situation of Blueface, okay? Um, Blueface allegedly... Uh, Got some sloppy toppy from some white man. All right. Now, ain't no offense. Y'all y'all say black people. I'm just saying white people. So he went on TikTok and uh, exposed it, uh, allegedly, of what it was. So Blueface finally spoke out today. And we're going to talk about what he said. He said, I have no interest in going after the LGBTQ community. If they don't hold each other accountable for things like this, seeing how they come together for everything else, that's on their community as a whole. I'm not homophobic or am I gay? All right, now that is what Blueface said. Now I'm going to go to Twitter so I can see what else he said. Oh, he he cussing people out now. Um, to smell like fishnets popping out in fishnets. Get your shit checked. I'm going to fuck with a big check. Okay. Uh, that's what Blueface said. Okay, boom. That's the next thing he said. I'm not suing nobody for no defamation if y'all believe that. That's on you. This ish is all entertainment. For me, literally, every time I open these apps, I separate my reality from this virtual world. Where everyone is pretending and lying for likes and approvals. I am the truth. Now, I'm not going to lie. That was a W response. W response in the chat. Um, I'm Wing up the fact that he said he ain't <laughs> suing nobody for defamation. All right. So I just want y'all to know I'm going to continue reacting to these videos, especially the fact that he ain't suing nobody. Now, I, for one, won't be defaming a soul, okay? But a lot of y'all are questioning me as, as to why I'm reacting to this uh, debacle on the Internet, and it's simply because of this. I can. You get what I'm saying? Blueface wants us to promote. As far as Blueface is concerned, he got about thousands of free promoters on the internet, which is the right mindset to have and him not suing old boy for defamation, which means he didn't do it. Oh, I love blue face even more. I'm starting to become a fan. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to become a fan. <laughs> no cap. But, um, okay. That's what he had to say. Now going back to this man, uh, who allegedly exposed him or whatever, he said, okay, hold on, here it is. This is what he said. The guy in the video is actually. Some call me a liar. I call it entertainment. Because are you entertained? Was your jaw dropped? I think it was. Job accomplished. Not blue face, Hello. but the DMs are real. So if y'all want to still see those, maybe I should post them. And honestly, if it were about any other human being on this planet, I wouldn't even give a fuck and put my two cents in. But the uh -huh. fact that it's blue cheese uh -huh. and stewie, why not have a little fun? He's having a ball on his Instagram and shit. So why can't we? Hello, you better talk about it. That's my thing. I don't understand where y'all be coming from. Now, what I will say also is that um, he, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because y'all paying attention to the person in the comments, not me. That's a problem. Why don't y'all block people when you don't want to be bothered? Block them when you don't want to be bothered. Now, now, one thing I agree with that white man on is the fact that he said that Blueface and Krishan is having a lot of fun. Why can't we? I completely agree. Now, he ain't have to say that. He, what matter of fact, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. He didn't. He never said that he was giving Blueface fellatio. He never necessarily said that. Um, he just used a black man who had tattoos and ex exposed tattoos to make it seem as if that had happened. But it was our discretion 
for us to decide whether it happened or not. And I told y'all I was cap. I mean, I studied his tattoos for like 20 minutes to make sure that he didn't have a star down there by his draw, his uh, whatever, G-string area, whatever the fuck you want to call it, boxer brief area, whatever. And uh, he didn't. So um, 444 in the chat. I also don't believe the DMs, though. So my thing with him is if you wanted us to believe something, you can't come with a lie first and then say the DMs are real. So now nobody's going to believe anything he says. You know what I'm saying? Especially if the DMs are, in fact, real. I just don't see Blueface. Um, I don't see Blueface DMing him because Blueface knows that people can use uh, his DMs against him. So we, I just feel like he too calculated for that. Uh, so I don't believe that he did that. Okay. Now, we are going to react to Krishan's sister. She had some things to say to Blueface last night. We're going to get to that later. But other than that, I'm going to go read some of these comments about the whole situation. Okay? And then that's it. So this not funny or cool-ish like this is the reason why all the straight homies think gay males want to fuck on them. And truthfully, don't nobody want y'all. I'm going to just let y'all know right now. Somebody that y'all could think is bad as hell, and I'm talking about female-wise, can be butt booning naked in front of me, and I won't even see the hoe. You get what I'm saying? Because if I'm not interested, I don't want to. I had to explain that to women in the locker room when I used to play basketball. You get what I'm saying? Like, we had a moment, quick story time, we had a moment in school where we was a part of the transition of the gays, okay? My generation was a part of the transition of the gays. So as soon as we decided we was going to wear basketball shorts over pumps, baby, the cheerleaders was feeling some type of way because they wasn't gay or whatever. So they started hiding on the other side of the locker room. I was gay and another person uh, on the team was gay. And they started basically hiding from us. Um, and just started talking shit, you know, little chatty patties or whatever. And I, I, I had to let them hoes know one day. I said, let me tell y'all something. I don't want neither one of y'all. I don't like your attitude. Your breath stink. You think you're cute and you're not. I'm talking about I went down the line of all these heifers because you can't, just because I like women, bitch, don't try and act like I don't have a preference, like I don't have class, okay? They was trying to act like I didn't have class. And I didn't necessarily like that. Okay, you just think I'm out here wanting all the coochie out here in the world, and that ain't what this is. Hello? So I had to get them heifers together. I got them together, and everything is fine now, even as adults. But, and some of them ain't gay, but one of the main ones that was popping that shit, that whole gay. Okay? But anyhow, I said all that to say. I needed to get my video to eight minutes. Y'all already know what I had to do. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. I never thought that he was, uh, but we're going to keep reacting to the debacles that's debacolating in the whole situation. All right? Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell, uh-huh. Yeah.